Despite not being one of the more successful rugby nations, Japan's top tier rugby competition attracts some of the best players and is held at some of the best stadiums. So here are the Japan Rugby League 1 Division 1 stadiums. Komazawa Olympic Park Stadium, Black Rams Tokyo. If Rams are sheep, then these guys are the black sheep of this league? Do they do that deliberately to suggest that they're a bit of an outcast? Or is it just because Rams are good at ramming and therefore good at rugby as well? We'll never know. Anyway, this undulating bowl of a stadium doesn't have much roof coverage, but what little roofing there is is quite distinctive. It looks good, although it's perhaps not the most effective when it rains. Hanazono Rugby Stadium, Hanazono Liners. Having opened in 1929 on the site of a short-lived race course, this is the oldest stadium in the league. However, it was extensively renovated prior to the 2019 World Cup, where it hosted some games. That renovation gave it this interesting looking facade amongst other things. Back in the day though, it was used as a driving range during the off season. Sadly, that is no longer the case. It would be kind of cool to hit some golf balls in a stadium, and there are some stadiums where you can. But personally, I've always wanted to hit a golf ball off the top of a skyscraper onto the top of another skyscraper. But the security guards frown upon that. Ah! Noah Via Stadium Kobe, Kobe Steelers. Firstly, Noah Via is a cosmetics company that makes skincare products and that. So they're certainly not a typical stadium sponsor, but they are a local company. Secondly, this stadium was built on the site of not a race course, but a velodrome. The stadium has a sleek modern look and it also has a retractable roof. Two features that are not all that uncommon in Japan. But perhaps a more remarkable feature is that in some seats there are floor power generators, which convert the energy from spectators jumping up and down into electricity that partially powers the lights. I'd imagine that technology would be especially useful for concert venues. When that stadium's not available, the Steelers call Kobe Universiade Memorial Stadium home, which is actually the larger of the two, but it is clearly inferior in just about every other way. Come to think of it, the design is somewhat similar to the first one we saw, just with the addition of an upper tier on one side, and a more functional but less stylish roof on the other side. Oh, and it looks like they have a little bit of a garden section, which is always a nice touch. Japan does like their gardens. Edogawa Stadium. Kubota Spears Funabashi Tokyo Bay. Yep, that's a team name with five words in it. At least those five words are easy to pronounce. I sometimes have trouble pronouncing words correctly, but in all seriousness, isn't it funny that pronunciation is one of the most commonly mispronounced words? I love that though, it's hilarious. From afar, you could mistake this place for one of those typical boring multi-purpose stadiums, but actually it's a unique design. Particularly the seating situation in the northwestern corner. It's just some steps. And I guess they are there specifically for watching the sprinters because they're facing that direction. Mie Suzuka Sports Garden. Mie Honda Heat. This team, as you may have assumed, is owned by Honda, which is fitting given that the ground is just a mile away from the Suzuka circuit. Although having said that, Suzuki would have been an even more fitting sponsor. But let's be real, they can probably only afford a Division 3 team. Given that at the time of recording, the Mie Honda Heat are winless and sitting at the bottom of the table, they probably need to be retrofitted with some VTEC. Nice little ground though. Sagamihara Gion Stadium. Sagamihara Dinobores. It's kind of scary to run into a regular wild boar, so I don't even want to know what a dinobore is. I'd imagine you can make some tasty bacon out of Dinobore. Although by the looks of him, I think it might be radioactive. As for the stadium, well, this really is one of those typical multi-purpose stadiums that Japan has about 50 of. 
Each one is only slightly different from another. Oh, and if you're thinking of sitting at the grass berms at each end, don't. They're not for spectators, that's where the dinobores graze. Kumagaya Rugby Ground Saitama Panasonic Wild Knights This is another ground that was upgraded significantly prior to the World Cup. Before that renovation took place, this too included some grass embankments. But that has all been replaced with proper bucket seating as you can see. The capacity was only slightly increased though. Other additions were the video board, some new light towers, the roof was extended. So yeah, it certainly improved in terms of its amenities, but I don't know, personally I'd rather watch a game at the old ground. Yamaha Stadium Shizuoka Blue Revs The stadium is not just named after Yamaha, it's actually owned by them, as is the team. They're called the Blue Revs because their, their motorbikes are blue and they rev, you see. In fact, the stadium is situated right next to a Yamaha plant, specifically a Yamaha Motors plant. I guess they make the pianos and recorders elsewhere. It's a pretty interesting design. No two stands are the same. One is built into the earth. One has a strange speed bump looking roof. One has a very small lower tier. And the other stand is the boring one. Chichibunomiya Rugby Stadium. Tokyo Sun Goliath. Several other teams play home games here regularly as well. It is comfortably the ground that hosts the most League One games. Which makes sense because not only is it situated right in the heart of Tokyo, but it's one of the few stadiums in the league that was purpose built for rugby. It's sacred ground amongst Japanese rugby fans, having played host to some famous Japanese victories. In terms of its design, it's nothing too far out of the ordinary. It's really the surroundings that set it apart. The ground is completely overshadowed by an office building or two. Ajinomoto Stadium Brave Lupus Tokyo With the capacity of just under 50,000, this is the largest stadium in the league. Although from street level, you'd never guess. It just doesn't make much of an impression. That's because they had to opt for a sunken design due to height restrictions in the area owing to a nearby airport. Pilots tend to prefer it when they don't have to try and swerve around buildings. The opposite is true when they're playing Grand Theft Auto. Inside, the colour scheme was clearly inspired by a pair of Steve Jobs New Balances. There's a whole lot of grey. But on game day, of course, the fans add a lot of colour. Toyota Stadium. Toyota Verblitz. Now you might be wondering whether this place is situated next to the Toyota factory. Well, kinda. There are several of them, but they're way over here. There is a big disparity between the exterior and interior at this place, because outside it's just... eh. But it looks incredible on the inside. The last time this stadium was featured on the channel, people commented that it looks a whole lot bigger than just 44,000 or so seats. And that is largely due to the fact that the stands are quite steep, so you're seeing more of the seats. Oh, and I should mention that this too has a retractable roof, albeit a soft top. Much like the Toyota convertibles of old. They also play at Paloma Mizuho Rugby Stadium, which is over on the other side of those Toyota plants. I've mentioned it before, but Toyota the company is not named after Toyota the city. It's the other way around. And yes, there are other towns named after car companies. Pontiac in Michigan, Proton City in Malaysia. But Toyota City was already a sizable city called Koromo before Toyota the company ever existed. Which makes it even more remarkable. Anyway, this place doesn't compare to Toyota Stadium, but it's not bad. I like how the main stand curves at the ends. NHK Spring Mitsuzawa Football Stadium, Yokohama Eagles. From my count, that makes it 7 out of the 12 teams in this league that are based in the Tokyo metro area. 
That probably makes Tokyo the professional rugby club capital of the world. Going off of the name, you're probably thinking that this is the headquarters of NHK Spring over here. But it's a hospital. So in a way, the patients in the top few floors of the building get a room with a sick view, in more ways than one. You'll just have to remember the next time you're in Yokohama and your ear falls off or something, choose Yokohama Municipal Citizens Hospital. They also play a few games at Restonac Dome Oita, which is the third stadium in the league to have a retractable roof. This is probably the most unusual roof of the lot. It looks like some sort of insect exoskeleton. But it's nicknamed the Big Eye, mainly due to the way the roof slides shut, which resembles the blinking of an eye. The roof isn't the only thing that's movable. As you can see, the venue also hosts athletics events. So some of the seating lower down can retract to accommodate the track and move back again when it's rugby time. Although even when it's in rugby mode, you wouldn't call it a proper rectangular stadium. Looks good though. So there you have it. As for my favorite, well, I think Toyota Stadium might be my favorite stadium in the country, let alone this league. As I said, it's mainly the interior that I like, but that's the important part of the stadium. Please consider subscribing if you're new around here. Arigato gozaimasu for watching, have a good one.